Hey everyone, today we're going to talk about splitting firewood for beginners. Where I'll show you how to take this and turn it into this. So the first thing you want to do is look at the wood that you have. This is some recently chopped down wood that I'll be splitting and the thing you want to look at is the seams and the cracks in the wood. That's really what's going to help guide you in terms of where you want to swing the axe and will make the process most efficient. So before you start doing it, you want to make sure you have your safety glasses and also make sure you have your axe and I use a, a Fisker's wood maul. So first things first, you want to have about a shoulder width stance. Uh, what I generally do is I kind of rock the axe back a little bit and then come straight down over my head. A couple things to keep in mind. Safety first, always. Uh, you want to make sure that you're obviously clear of anybody in the area. Uh, and you also want to make sure that you're clear of some of your, your body parts and extremities as well. Making sure you're not swinging anywhere near your feet. Making sure you're doing it with a comfortable position and with the proper safety equipment. So this is just the, the first block of wood. I generally use you know, a bungee cord or some chain around it just to make sure the wood doesn't go flying too far. As you can see there, I started on that seam and worked my way through it. So in this next view, I wanted to show a little bit closer those cracks that I was talking about. In the video, I'll show you specifically of, of where I'm aiming with my wood maul to make this the easiest and kind of most efficient way. So right here, I point out that crack in the wood is where I'm going to aim for. And if I can hit that, usually it'll help me get the, uh, the wood split as fast as I can and as, even, as evenly as I can as well. So not the greatest of first swings, not too close to the, uh, the seam on that one. It gets better. So on this one, I come a lot closer and you can start to see it split a little bit. Yep, and I even pointed out right there. And so on this next hit, you'll see it gets a lot easier as you weaken the wood along those cracks. You can kind of go right through it. And then from there, I just pick my seams and my cracks. And also, generally the size of the wood that I want to chop helps guide where I'm going to hit next as well. But once you get that first crack in the wood, it kind of weakens everything and makes everything a lot easier. So you will run into some trouble spots. Usually you won't be able to get through it in the first hit every time. You'll see on this next part right here that I hit a knot in the wood. And what happens there generally is, you know, the wood is a little bit more difficult to split takes a couple more hits. Even if you're hitting in the right spot and the right crack, um, it does take a couple hits. So don't get frustrated. It usually happens you know, once every couple times, uh, depending on the wood type and uh, how many knots it has in it. So eventually you'll get through it, but just be patient with it. So while I wait to get through this knot, I will do a special shout out to my wonderful nephew, Ryan, who watches all of my videos and who I love dearly. And uh, Ryan, if you're out there, I'm looking forward to doing a video with you one day, buddy. And there we go, I finally got through it. Um, you'll see a little bit later the knot in that, uh, in that piece of wood. So then from here, it's generally, you know, how big a piece of, uh, of firewood do you want? You know, whether it's being used inside or outside, I tend to keep mine a little bit bigger because that gives me the option to use a bigger log or you know, if I'm doing an outside fire where I need some kindling and some starter wood, I can do it, uh, I can just kind of make it a little bit smaller that way. So I tend to keep mine a little bit bigger with the option of making them smaller if I need it. Then one of the tougher parts too is finding the, uh, the level ground to do it on. I usually have a, a block that I put it on to make it a little bit easier. I just didn't use it for this video. Yeah, that's a good example of one. You can see right in the middle there, there's a little knot there. It gets a little bit tougher to, uh, to split, but we were able to get through that one. And then this one will be the, uh, the final piece for that log. Okay, then we come on the final log. Uh, this one, I get a little bit lucky, found a good crease, and on the, uh, the first hit, I'm able to, uh, to split through the middle. And then same general, general format as before. You're finding your spots. 
oops, this was uh, <laughs> this was an unintended consequence, but uh, anything for a video. I accidentally knocked the, uh, the camera over on that one. There were no uh, casualties during this filming. <laughs> I guess a lesson to me, put the uh, camera a little bit further away from the wood when you're splitting it. But this is probably a good time to tell you that uh, that you want to make sure, obviously, you're, you're being careful, but making sure there's there's nobody else too close around you. Because as you can see, the, the, the wood can kind of uh, jump out at you. Hence the reason why sometimes I put either a, a little bit of a bungee cord or chain around. Another thing some people do, too, is they'll actually put the, the log in the middle of a tire, and it'll keep it nice and compact in there. So that's another kind of trick that you can do to help uh, avoid the wood shooting, shooting out, especially if you only have a small area you don't want it causing any damage. Usually it stays in the general same spot, but yeah, depending on how hard you shoot um, the axe down or what type of wood you're working with, it can jump out at you. So that's pretty much it. You know, hopefully this answers some of your questions, makes you a little bit more comfortable. You know, my, my quick summary is safety first. Don't do anything you're, you're not comfortable with. You know, start very small and very easy. Work your way up. Um, you know, obviously if you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section. If you like the video, please like it and consider subscribing. And uh, thanks everybody for watching.